Before we start our next project, we need to clean our camera equipment. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be cleaning our camera equipment before starting a new project. Now, I have a new project in mind, but before that, we need to clean this camera. This is the Canon EOS R, it's a mirrorless camera and I haven't cleaned it since I had it back in September. It's not gathered any extra dust on the sensor compared to my ATD. Canon EOS R does close its shutter when you're taking your lens off. But I haven't seen any extra maintenance needed for this mirrorless camera. So anyone who has done macro photography will tell you it's a very filthy business. You're constantly changing lenses, you're in bushes changing lenses, your sensor is going to get dirty. First of all, I want to show you how you can see if your sensor is dirty. First thing you can do is go into photo mode, take a picture of a wall, um, a piece of paper, but just make sure that it is blurred. So you want to set your focus to a minimum, take a picture and you'll see the dust spots. The other easy way to do is if we're going to live view, we're going to take a look at a wall, a piece of paper, you can do it against a blue sky. And we're just going to move the camera like this and any dust spots will remain still so that's how you can see if there's any dust spots unfortunately i can't demonstrate that because there's not enough dust on this sensor for you to see although i'm showing you how to clean your camera's sensor i am not responsible for any damage you cause to your camera by not knowing how to do this procedure if you are uncomfortable with cleaning your own camera sensor then please send it off to a local camera shop to have them clean it for you and one thing that I am not, that any of my friends will tell you, I am not super anal when it comes to cleaning my equipment. I'll clean it just enough so that I can use it. And apart from that, I'm not bothered. If it gets scratches on it, I'm not bothered. If it gets dirt on the outside here, I'll just brush it off and move on to the next project. However, when it comes to the lenses and the sensors, I am very, very anal for cleaning. But it's not for the photography, okay? Basically, when you get these specs on your sensor, you can see them in this example here, you can easily remove those in Lightroom or Photoshop, but if you get them on your video, it's very hard to remove them off video footage, which is why I'm super anal when it comes to a clean sensor. So the first thing I always start with is the end cap. So I'm just going to take my blower and I'll blow into it. I'll take my brush, push it out. Then I will visually look to see if there's anything in there that's really stuck in there. And if not, that's it. And I'm going to place that face down. Okay. Then I will inspect the inside of the lens. If I can't see any dirt, that's it. Nothing done. If there's no dirt, there's no point cleaning it. But what I want to get into is the cleaning of this sensor. So I'm going to be right up front now. I'm not going to be cleaning it in the actual video because I'm demonstrating it. It takes too long. When I'm cleaning my sensor, it's literally in and out as quickly as possible. When I'm demonstrating this, I'm going to have the camera open. I'm going to be talking over it. There's going to be dust going into it. So I won't be cleaning it there. I just want to be right up front there in case anyone's sitting there going, it's taking too long. It's because I'm just a demonstration. So this is just a simple makeup brush. Any brush will do because you're only doing the exterior of your camera. So long as the bristles are soft, and fine you'll be okay just don't use hard bristles we have a air duster i've had this for years and 80 percent of my cleaning is fixed by using this just blow it off now first of all i'm going to go through a system of blow brush blow so we're going to blow all around the camera to blow any loose debris off once we've done that we're going to use the brush and we will brush through all i'm doing is i'm just brushing out the dust and dirt in between these little nooks and crannies that you know the dust gathers into it's like when you go on the beach you know it gets in all the cracks doesn't it you know once i've done that i'm blowing again so again that's blow dust to blow we move our lens i'm just going to place that there and you can see there on the eos art we have a shutter and i believe this is what has helped prevent most dust from getting into this sensor and, and enabled me to be able to use it for several months without cleaning it 
Now the Sony's and Nikon's they don't have that. Whether that affects their cameras and they get dirtier a lot easier, I don't know. First thing again, dust blower, and I'm going to blow inside before we open up the shutter, just to remove anything. And we always hold the camera downwards. So there's any debris will come down because it's obviously it's gravity fed so it's going to fall down if you hold it like this you're not doing anything so always hold it down generally i change lenses holding the camera down as well okay and now we've done that we need access to our sensor so as a lot of people will know the eos r does not have in body stabilization so if your camera does if you go into cleaning mode it should lock your ibis sensor down so that you're able to clean it. I've been told also that taking it, the battery will also lock the IBIS in, but please just do your research on your camera. Google is your best friend. We're gonna go over to our menu, and the first thing we want to look at is sensor cleaning. If you've got an auto sensor cleaning uh, option on here, then we're going to do that now. So we're gonna clean the sensor, and it's gonna shake the sensor, and hopefully whatever dust is in there will fall off. And we're going to give it another blast to make sure that it's all out of there. Okay, now this is the part where I said, you know, normally I'm in and out, whereas I'm demonstrating it, I've got to slow down. So I'm just going to place that down, face down. You won't have to do that because you will skip straight to the next step. If you've still got dust on your sensor, is to get one of these. This is a sensor cleaning uh, kit. The full frame sensor swabs and the fluid that uh, comes with this one. What we're going to do now, again, it's a lot quicker in real life. I will tear open one of these swabs and we have our liquid here. Let's crack that open. I shall take out my swab. I will click on the camera, sensor cleaning, clean manually. Click OK. We shall put this liquid onto the end of the swab. I'm going to go from left to right at a 45 degree angle. Like that. We will then turn it over, 45 degree angle again, and come back from right to left. Okay, so we're going to turn off the camera. Place our lens back on, and then turn it on. And again, we will do a test shot against a, a white wall or the sky. I can't stress enough how important it is to clean the back of these. So we've cleaned the camera, we've cleaned the lens, and then what happens when you go and put a dirty cap back on the end of your lens? You're going to introduce dirt from the cap to the lens, then you put that lens on your camera, and it's going from the lens to your sensor. So this is actually the most important step. Do not forget to clean your end caps. And that's it. It's as easy as that. This is basically what they will do if you send it off to a camera store and pay 50 to 100 pounds to have it cleaned. That is literally what they will do. So I'm hoping uh, that's uh, cleared things up for you, that you know how to clean your camera. I've got to go through and do all the equipment because bug season is coming up and I want all those cameras clean. Links to all the cleaning equipment I've used in this video are in the description below. And as I said before, macro photography is a very filthy business. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. But for now, my name's Stuart Wood. I'll see you on the next video. Again, we will set our, our focus to minimum. I hate this focus boy wires. What we do? And just move it around. Uh, you want to pick, pick it up now against a wall, a piece of paper. You can even do it against the blue sky. Uh, do it again. So we're going to put the camera into. So, and then we have some full frame sensor cleaning swabs there if we do get some runs that won't move but obviously we've shown it anyway so it doesn't really matter so i can't stress enough how important it is to clean these back caps now i said this i can't stress enough how important it is to clean the back of these so we've cleaned the camera we've cleaned the uh, the lens better say sensor Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be cleaning my Canon EOS R and the A2D. No, I'm not doing the A2D. <coughs> to do that, I need a battery. So the next step, if you've still... We have one ready for um, the new season 